This video will cover the latest spoilers of Dragon Ball Super episode 130 to 131. Guys, this is the second spoiler video about the final two episodes and we're doing it because we have a slightly different preview summaries there, but since we already talked about this before, I'll keep this video short. So let's check it right away. The battle for the fate of the universes finally concludes. March 18th, an unprecedented super showdown, the ultimate survival battle. Only Goku and Jiren are left fighting in the arena. Now shining silver due to Ultra Instinct, Goku overwhelms Jiren. However, it turns out Jiren has yet to push forth his full power. March 25th, a miraculous conclusion. Farewell Goku until the day we meet again. The time has finally come to settle things, only 30 seconds remain. Will Goku and others of Universe 7 cause a miracle, or will it be Jiren's Universe 11? And what wish will the victor have granted with the Super Dragon Balls? Transition courtesy, Herms. Okay brothers, basically, these ones are less spoilerish than the previous set of spoilers we got. For those of you who didn't watch that video, I'll be attaching the required clip from it at the end of this video. Episode 130 adds nothing new, and after all this, Juan is still holding back and will be unleashing his power for real for the first time. It was obvious from the preview trailer where we see Juan in his buffed up, shirtless state. Episode 131 New information from this batch is, there will still be stuff left for happening in the last 30 seconds of the Tournament of Power. That is the miraculous event or the ultimate twist will happen right then. Interestingly and more appropriately, it didn't touch the part where the previous spoiler stated that Goku falls on the stage and the Frieza shocks everyone as it comes out of nowhere with the death beam. I mean, why would you give away so much of the plot of the final episode on the preview summaries? That's exactly why many fans are theorizing that the spoilers might have been made willingly misleading or super confusing to not give away the plot. When they say Goku falls off the stage, they could be talking about of what we will be thinking at that moment. Maybe Goku will come back from the verge of elimination using instant transmission or something like that. Since the previous spoilers say both Goku and Dren will be in confusion and look at Zeno. It might just be that none of them gets eliminated and they look at Xenos for answer because the time is over and they both stand in. That's exactly when Frieza reminds everyone he isn't eliminated by throwing a death beam at Dren. And perhaps that's what they're terming as a miraculous conclusion. The conclusion being Universe 7 winning the tournament. Well, I don't think that's gonna be exactly the case, I thought the possibility sounds kind of legit, so I had to mention it. Guys, that's about all for this video, I'm attaching a clip from a previous video mentioning the spoilers of the previous batch, do comment your opinion down below. These translations are done by Kenzaro, let's get right to it. Dragon Ball Super Episode 130 title, The Greatest Showdown of All Times, The Ultimate Survival Battle. 1 minute 30 seconds remain in the Tournament of Power, in the fight, Son Goku was better than Jiren, then Jiren collects his thoughts and finally gets serious. Covered in red aura, Jiren dashes towards Goku and fires a key blast at him from point blank range. Son Goku is blown away in a flashy scene. In the audience seat, Krillin and Master Roshi are worried, but... Dragon Ball Super Episode 131, a miraculous conclusion, goodbye Goku, until the day we meet again. Son Goku falls from the stage, it seems Universe 7 has lost and everyone will get erased. When Goku, who broke past his limits, looks at Zeno at the same time as Dren, it appears that the game isn't over yet, and then a death beam hits Dren's back. A worn out member of Universe 7 shows himself. 